Well, between baseball, softball, and beach volleyball, it has been a big day for the Pac-12, but it is Sunday, so the dominant conversation on your social media feed right now most likely surrounds a place called Winterfell and tonight's all-new HBO episode of Game of Thrones. Even if you don't watch, which you should, I think you'll still appreciate tonight's conversation with one of the show's star stunt devils who just so happens to be a Pac-12 grad. Yes, Utah fans know and love her as their 12-time All-American gymnast, Christina Basket. She won the NCAA Uneven Bar Championship as a freshman. She ended up with seven NCAA medals, and since graduating, she's become a well-known Hollywood stunt performer. And these days, she's been working as Arya Stark's stunt double on Game of Thrones. Aryogi Roth actually did a feature with her a few years back. I think he is still recovering. But for more on her big role and to give us an update on what life is like now, Christina Basket joining us via Skype in Atlanta. Christina, thank you so much for stopping by. I can't tell you, I'm a little bit embarrassed to tell you how much I've been looking forward to this conversation. No worries, I understand the excitement <laughs> about it. I'm a big fan, so thank you for having me and getting to be on the Pac-12 Network platform. I love it. Well, we'll get to Game of Thrones in just a minute, but I want to start with your backstory because you graduated mm -hmm. from Utah in 2009, and from what I've read, you thought your gymnastics career was over and you were going to get you know, a, a quote-unquote normal day job. Mm -hmm. So how did you find yourself in a career as a stunt performer? You know, it's. I always say it was a very much surprise adventure that came into my life and it's the best surprise that I've had. I, I never really knew what stunts was or that it was an option for life after gymnastics, but I feel very fortunate that I was given opportunities that kind of led me to it and it's been the greatest adventure I could have, I could have imagined. I can't, I, yeah, I, I imagine that to be the case. Now, you've been Maisie Williams' stunt double in Game of Thrones since season six, and her character, Arya Stark, who I mentioned, I think she's one of the best characters in television. What has that whole experience been like for you? Um, it's been an, an amazing experience, especially as a stunt performer. You know, you always look forward to those roles of getting to be, you know, a stunt double for an action person. And Game of Thrones, there's not a lot of female action in the show, so getting to be the double for such a cool character and getting to be a part of a lot of the, the best action sequences in the show is very exciting for us as a stunt performer, you know, regardless of if you're a fan or not, but I'm definitely a fan of the show. Well, and from what I understand, more than just doing the stunts, you actually work with the actors on set. And Maisie, mm -hmm. from what I've heard, is, is trains, with, trains with you to do a lot of her own stunts. Is that, is that right? Absolutely. One of the, our biggest roles as stunt performers, a lot of it is, um, behind the scenes of developing the concepts of the action, working at the choreography, making sure that it's safe for the actors, and then bringing them in and training them to do as much as they can to the best of their abilities and make them look good. So a lot of our job is trying to make them look good and be able to do as much of the action as we can. And she's our favorite type of person to work with in the stunt department because she's very excited about stunts. She's very good at it. She's very naturally coordinated and athletic. So she makes our job really easy of making the actors look good. And so she's fun for us to work with as a stunt team. So can I just clarify, she, she was the one who actually slayed the Night King. She is the one who slayed the Night okay, King. Okay, but yes. did you teach her how to slay the Night King? Can we say that? Oh, no, yes, definitely. <laughs> okay. there, we spend a lot of time in development working, you know, with the directors, you know, try, working with the wires, making sure it looks like what they want it to, making sure it's safe for her, and then we can bring her in and you know give her any tips or um, make sure she's comfortable so that she can perform it and act it, and um, she did awesome. I love that. All right, what's, what's your favorite <laughs> Game of Thrones moment that you've been a part of? I, for sure, my favorite part that I've done is in season six when we did a lot of the kind of the chase scenes through Bravos when she's getting chased by the waif and we were in Spain shooting and it was just such a cool experience to literally run around the streets of Spain and get to do a lot of action on my part. So that was by far my favorite um, episode that I've done. I'm pretty sure you have the best job that I know. Uh, so you, cool. <laughs> <laughs> Game of Thrones is, is probably the most famous show, but you've appeared in, in a ton of movies, commercials, and other mm -hmm. Hollywood productions. What's the hardest stunt you've ever done? Um, it's funny because I get asked that question a lot. And, you know, a lot of people think, you know, the hardest things are, you know, they think of explosions and jumping off of buildings and rooftops. And a lot of that, you just have to have the guts to do it. I think some of the hardest stuff I've ever done is doing intricate martial arts fighting because that's not my background. And I've been a part, uh, one of the shows was like Into the Badlands where it's very much like Chinese martial arts and doing these intricate crazy fight scenes um, when it's not 
from my background has been some, one of the ch most challenging things when it comes to skill set. You know, it's one thing to have the guts to do something, and it's another to have like a really intense skill set in all these different avenues that you're, you need for stunts. So what, what are your workouts like, Christina, may I ask? Like, what, what, what do you do for your workouts? <laughs> Um, I try and do a little bit of everything because in this business, you never know what you're going to ask to be next, either asked to do or be. And so the more you can do, you know, the more you can offer as a stunt performer. So I try and do a little bit of everything because I literally never know what they're going to ask me to do next. All right. Well, you, you do know how Game of Thrones ends. Is that, is that correct? I do know. Yes. You do. Okay. Is it hard <laughs> not to, not to share any spoilers? I mean, I'm not asking you to, but. No, it, I mean, it's not. It's, I mean, I'm used to working in this industry, so of course, you know, that's as a professional, you know, I'm not going to, you know, I want to keep my job. So <laughs> I know that we're, I, you know, in practice, I've practiced, you know, keeping it a secret. And um, I wouldn't want to spoil it for somebody because it ruins the excitement of watching it live. And so, you know, you just have to watch and see. Okay, but just between you and me, I won't tell anyone. Can you just tell me that Cersei does not end up on the Iron Throne so I can sleep well at night? <laughs> You'll have You'll have to watch and see. Okay. <laughs> All right. Fair enough. Fair enough. All right. Well, Christina, you're, you're being inducted into the Crimson Club Hall of Fame next September. I know that's a really big deal. Last thing before we let you go, how did your time at Utah being a, a gymnast for the Red Rocks prepare you for, for what you're doing in your life right now? You know, I definitely, I feel very fortunate that I've gotten so many amazing opportunities after gymnastics. And no matter what, when I think about my time at Utah Gymnastics, that is by far the best thing that ever has ever happened to me in my life. And just that experience alone was so amazing. And without really knowing it, it definitely set me up for such an incredible life after the sport and prepared me for that. And forever, like it's, it's a very special place in my heart, Utah Gymnastics, and I really do think it's the root of where I've gone. And so to be inducted into the Hall of Fame is the biggest honor I've, I've had in my career. Good. We're looking forward to seeing you do that in September. Congratulations on that. And obviously all the, the great success you've had in ca your career. It's been awesome talking with you. And I look forward to seeing uh, what's coming up tonight on Game of Thrones. Thank you so much. Me too.